G'day guys, Will here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're back in the driver's seat of the Skip Barber today for week seven of season four, 2019. So we're at Phoenix International Raceway Road Course today, and I've had a really, really stressful day today. I um, had a lot of problems with work and all sorts of things going on, so my anxiety levels are very high, and you'll see that my heart rate is actually quite elevated already uh, before we even start, so it's probably the last thing in the world that I should be doing today. Uh, this circuit is particularly slidey. There's a lot of chaos around particular particularly around turn one, where you're sort of, you're trail breaking in and it's very fine line between getting a decent time and spinning off into the distance. But nonetheless, we're going to give it a shot today. Uh, I am going to take it relatively easy though and, uh, you know, just try to have a clean race, try to make up some positions from the other guys spinning. I'm really trying to work on my safety rating and I rating and getting those boosted at the moment. But yeah, it's been a really stressful day for me today. So I'm hoping to unwind a little bit in this race and have a good time. So let's jump in and get started on qualifying. All right, here we go. So you'll notice a couple of different things about the um, overlay and stuff like that tonight. I've been playing around with a few little things, um, moving around things on the screen a bit. So let me know in the comments what you think of that, whether you're finding it easier to see what you want to see and a little bit less cluttered. Uh, it's one of those tricky things where everybody wants something different and some people love it, some people hate it. Can't please everybody, but I think this is a pretty good balance. So let me know what you think. Uh, other thing you'll notice as well as I just warm up the tyres here is that uh, I'm not racing in VR. Reason for that is I got some dead pixels in my uh, reverb and HP have very kindly offered to swap it out. Uh, Courier's booked for tomorrow to deliver the new one and take the old one away. So um, I've had to box it up this evening to be ready for tomorrow. So that's the reason why I'm not driving in VR tonight. But nonetheless, we'll give it our best shot and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a half decent result here. I need a nice relaxing race. I doubt we're going to get that, but uh, after the day I've had, I could really use a rewarding race. <laughs> Try not to spin out here. So difficult on these cold tyres. So just kind of feathering the throttle a little bit, just taking it easy on this first lap. Feathering the throttle a little bit just to keep the back end planted through that first turn. Whew, nearly lost it there. Not too bad for a first lap. Just try and keep it clean here for the second. There we go. P3, you've just done that. 108, 121. Probably could have been more aggressive than that, but not worth the risk. Still wanting to move around a lot. One more corner to go. Try and keep the throttle flat. Oh, I had to lift off a little bit there. How did we go? Second! Alright, let's see if that drops down. It probably will drop down, but... Um, Hopefully that will mean that most of the chaos takes place behind us and not in front of us. <laughs> Alright, bring it back to the pits and uh, yeah, let's hope for a good race. Alright, P3 in the end. So, pretty stoked with that. Let's... I didn't get that. 
<laughs> Every single time, Siri goes off. <laughs> Shut up, Siri. I'm not talking to you. <sighs> My Google lights will be flashing next. I shouldn't say that out loud, should I? <laughs> It'd cause problems. Set everybody else that's watching the video's lights off as well. Alright, here we go. Celsius, 20 laps. Alright, well, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Floor it, green, green, green. Ooh, he didn't get a very good start. That's the scariest part of the race done, maybe. On your right, clear right. Got a tap there. Another tap, maybe. Right side, clear right. On your right, clear right. All right, heart rate's building up to 133. It's been a stressful day. I don't know if my heart can handle this. <laughs> Just try not to lose it. Take it easy. Oh, we got a spinner. Don't hook back the other way. Oh, he's into the wall. <laughs> right into the pit wall. All right, that helps us. Me too. Hold on to it. These tyres are a handful. Lucky to hold onto that one. Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. Don't really feel like battling him at this mo at this moment. <laughs> the old Camel Williams livery, I think. On your right. Hold your line. Clear right. That was a little bit unexpected. Don't want to let this guy in the lead get away. But also, don't want to do anything stupid. Right side. Hold your line. Hold your line. I want my VR. The leader has just done a 108.12. That last lap was at 109.38. Oh, he's getting squirrely. Heating the tires. Can be a little bit braver now. Let's see if we can pull a gap here. points a bit. Whoa, getting loose. <laughs> Don't try and go down the inside. It's not worth the risk, buddy. Left side. Clear left. You can have that. That's your quickest today. On your left, clear left. That's a shame. <laughs> wasn't worth having that battle though. I wasn't gonna try and defend that. Thank God we kept that clean. Alright. Chase is on now. Haven't been paying attention to his lap times. I can't see the overlay that you guys can see, so I'm not sure what his times are like. 3.7 second gap though, so let's see what we can do.
How's my heart rate? 116. Okay, it's going down again. <laughs> the captain, Navarro, behind is increasing. It's now That's good to hear. Seconds. New fastest lap for King, 107.48. Well, I know I can go faster than that. I can do one low, one low. What? What am I even talking about? I can do low 106s when I'm on point. So. P2. We are catching him. Tear off. Slowly, but we are. A little bit of a lock up there. For him, that is not me. Okay, well, you're reeling this guy in. The gap's now 2.7. Can we do it? Feeling, I'm feeling confident, quietly confident. Maybe. Not going for lap records here, I'm just trying to keep it smooth. Definitely gaining. Probably run out of fuel now. <laughs> no, we got enough fuel. The leader has just done one oh seven point three three. We're quickest right now. It's good to hear, Jim. Thank you. Missed my line there a little bit. And again, scruffy lap. Alright, we need to get a move on now. Because he's only going to get faster as well. Time to put in some um, more qualifying like laps, I think. The lap time was at 107.51. Six two is 0.38 off the pace. All right. Coming for you, Felipe. Oh, we got some lap traffic coming up too. Watch my heart rate come back up when we get to the lap cars. Down to two second gap now, but we're not closing fast enough. I'm going to have to pick it up a little bit more. I don't really feel comfortable going much faster than this. I'm second off my pace, but... I also risk spinning if I go much quicker, so hopefully we can gain on him in the lap traffic. You're gaining on this guy. The gap's now 2.0 seconds. The guy behind has just done it. 107 and 
Under two seconds now. Just need to get into the slipstream. Once we're in the slipstream, we'll be okay. Once. I'm talking like it's going to happen. How's my heart rate? 133. <laughs> it's a workout. Like I said, that's pure anxiety. It's not some. Um, it's not exertion. But that's what I love about eye racing. Is it really feels like there's something at stake. One second now. Almost in the slipstream. Half distance. Fuel looks good. Your last lap time was at 106.79. Alright, it's on now. Okay, well, you're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 0.7. Stressful. Should have slipstream now, but I don't really want to try and overtake into turn one. Well, we've got a spin. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going to happen there. One way to clear the back markers. Alright, let's put him under some pressure. fair racing there. Thank you, sir. Kept that very clean. Might be on for our first win for a long time. Just got to hold it together now. One second gap. Keep pulling away from the guy behind. No, that's what we like to hear. Get him out of the slipstream. <laughs> I'm sweating bullets here, man. Now, do not cock this up, Will. <laughs> Eight 
aim is to just go fast enough to keep him behind me, not so fast as to risk making a mistake. Just pacing myself. Keeping it smooth. Got a car in the pits, I think. Yeah. that tomorrow is a less stressful day than today's been, man, honestly. <laughs> today's been one of the most stressful days I can remember for a very long time. Got some um, sick kid again as well. My um, son's been running a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius today. So poor Jill's been busy looking after him as well. Everything going on at the moment. keeping an eye on my lap times but I feel like they've been pretty consistent like I said I'm not going for lap records here I'm just trying to keep it really smooth going as fast as I need to to win but without going nuts don't need to go any faster. Be interesting to see if I do get the fastest lap. You guys can probably see from where you are, but not me. Speaking of you guys being able to see, I'm um, going to be doing a video very shortly on the um, overlay that I've got running there as well. Now that I've got it all adjusted and tweaked, For those of you wondering, it's called SDK Gaming, uh, and there's a link in the description below the video for it as well, so you can check it out. But um, yeah, absolutely brilliant, and their technical support is fantastic as well. I've been chatting quite a lot with uh, Lee from SDK this week, and he's been helping me out getting everything sorted, and um, yeah, really awesome. So I'm going to be doing a video showing how to set all that up very soon. I was hoping to do it today, but... Um, with the way this week's been going, it's not been very easy to get any videos done. But I will try to get it done this week, if not next.
big thanks to all of you guys who watched the um, Boosted Media versus Gamer Muscle stream the other night as well. We streamed for about five hours. That was a lot of fun. I am um, definitely looking forward to doing more of that kind of thing as well. So if you're not already, jump into our Discord community. The link's in the description. Uh, we'll be kicking off some community races very, Come very on, soon. Stay focused. We can win this. We can win this. We're going to win this. That's Think positive, Jim. Keep it up. How's my heart rate doing? 123. Oh, we dropped a bit. Now the pressure's off a bit. Alright. Once more around. We'd go for the world's longest year, boy, if we win. <laughs> Just taking it easy. Five second gap now. We schooled him. It was a real shame that other guy spun though. That was very unfortunate. But I will take the win. <laughs> I needed that tonight. Honestly, I really needed that tonight. I've been really struggling with eye racing recently, but finally. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Not the world's longest, but it'll do. Thank you, Jim. I feel like I did deserve that today. Alright. Let's have a look at the replay of those couple of little incidents. Have a look at what else went on in the field. And then have a look at our results. Alright. Let's have a look here at the start. See what happened. I honestly can't remember what happened at the start of the race. I think we had one another guy spun out, didn't he? I can't remember. We got a AMG Patronus Lewis Hamilton in front of us. I can't remember what happened. <laughs> I know we were pressurizing him. Oh, that's where we had that little tap. Didn't get any um, incident points for it though, I don't think. And got a little bit loose there. So he went for the switch back. Slip streaming. All right, what happened here? A little bit out of shape. Oh, no. Bam! <laughs> oh, man, that is unfortunate. That is very unlucky. Meanwhile, we were battling away. Some really nice clean racing there, though. He kept it very nice and clean. Only that one little tap on the first lap. He was definitely driving a lot more aggressive than I was. But that's fine. I mean, no problem with that. I was just taking it easy. Okay, so that was the point where I kind of decided, you know what, it's not worth battling here. And I actually didn't expect him to yield here. I thought that he would um, turn in. So that was very nice of him. 
And this is where I was really anxious about going in too wide into turn one, but I think he backed out of it. It's cool to see the um, center car versus the um, Mansell car. So yeah, he backed right out of that. All right, and now I believe this is the lap that he ended up spinning, which is really unfortunate. I was looking forward to a race-long battle with him. Actually, I kind of wasn't, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, it was a shame that he spun. Let's have a look at what happened. Oh, just too much heat. Oh, that sucks. Alrighty, let's have a look at some of the other incidents quickly throughout the race. So we had one spin. Oh, oh, he kept that. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't realize all this had happened in the background. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, next one. Oh, carnage. <laughs> Skip barbers. Next one. Oh, bang! Another one down. I had no... I was oblivious to all this. Oh, broken wheel. Oh, this was the one we already watched. The spin into the wall from the leader. That was unfortunate. Oh! What's going on here? Oh, another one. Looped it. <laughs> oh, this was his spin. Oh. And he had to wait for so many people as well. He did well. I mean, that's... Oh, we had another crash beside us. What happened there? Let's go to that one. Oh! <laughs> Trying to avoid the carnage and... Another broken wheel. I think this is still the car with the broken wheel. Oh, maybe it's repaired itself. I don't know. Crabbing around. And I think that's about it. So let's take a look at the results. All right. So we've got the advanced technology out this time. A couple of you guys told me that you couldn't really read the results. So we've got the magnifier tool out. It's been about 30 years since I've used this in Windows. Not that long, but uh, it feels like a very long time. But anyway, so we ended up first. We had a fastest lap of 106.485. Actually, that was a lot quicker than I thought. Um, we had the fastest lap of the race in the end by, what would we have there, 106.685, 5.7, and so forth. So we actually did have half-decent pace in the end there. I, um, I felt like I was taking it nice and smooth and easy, but I mean, as um, Alan Prost said, sometimes smooth is fast. So we got a plus 88 on our I rating and a plus 21 on our license as well, which I really needed. So we're back up to almost four again. Uh, I'm going to try and do those NPR races to get up to my Class A license as well before the end of this season. So that will be good. But yeah, I really want to try and focus on getting my I rating back up to above 2000 as well. That's sort of my main focus at the moment. So this is a big help along the way. Uh, average lap time 107.774. Uh, nobody else was in the 107. So we did really well in the end. I'm really, really happy with that result. Obviously, zero incident points. Relatively clean race as well. A lot of people there had no incident points. All right, guys, so, yeah, super stoked with that win. Uh, yeah, it's the first win I've had in iRacing for almost two months, I think, now. I think the last time I won a race was Skip Barber's around Summit Point a uh, long time ago, back when I was practicing for this season. It's the first win I've had in this season. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a win in the Porsches as well this week. I doubt it, but we can always try. But, I mean, having, having a win is always a massive confidence boost, and especially on a day where I was really struggling, not having a good day at all today. I definitely appreciate it. So thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you want to pick up any of the gear that you've seen in the video, check out the links in the description below, as well as the link to the SDK overlay that I was showing here as well. But as I said, I will be doing another video showing all the details of that, how to set it up and everything in the next couple of days, hopefully as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.